Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3. Last time we played, we got sent by uh, some strange people in a cathedral to... I'm not really sure what you want to call this place, but we went on a nice journey. A real, uh, a real trip. And we learned some things about ourselves, which was fun and exciting and also... Uh, a little bit worrying. You know, it's, you know, we don't, I, it seems our character doesn't hold himself into high regards. And, uh, we got a lot of guilt. <laughs> it has, it wasn't a great time for us. Uh, but with that done, we can actually head back to the church and figure out more of what's going on here. I do want to be careful because the locals, there's no other way to put this. The locals around here have really been kicking my butt. I, they just have been. It's, I, I can't lie about it. I can't pretend that it hasn't been happening. So we need to, ooh, a trapper shack. Okay. So we need to be a little bit uh, careful moving. Oh my God. I say we need to be careful. I'm almost walking into bear traps. All right. Yes. Let's, let's be, let's just be more careful moving on. Oh God. I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into this house and I, I have a feeling uh, it's not going to be great. Did I? Oh. Okay. All right. There's definitely, there's definitely someone in here. This place sucks. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hi. <laughs> You're a lot less intimidating. Uh, the moment I saw you. There we go. All right. Uh, you want to, boy, you're really, uh, not too much to worry about. <laughs> uh, although I still don't want you near me. If you could just, if you could just go away. God dang my guy. All right. Hold on. Okay. This might work. Let's dude. I really want you just I really just want you far away from me just in general. Man, this double barrel shotgun isn't super great. Well, the last shot was. <laughs> oh, nice drugs. These guys have a lot of drugs on them. Just in general, these guys just have a lot of drugs. And, and dolls. Oh, okay. All right, that wasn't, that wasn't nice. Uh, oh, shit. That was a nasty trick, my guy. I mean, I fell for it, but it was a nasty trick. Moonshine. God, dude, you live like this? Unbelievable. My wife would be so mad if our house looked like this. Stealth boy, though. That's pretty neat. All right. Uh, nothing major, but it's another place that if I need to make um, nuka grenades. Dude, got tin cans. Got a Braxo cleaner. I'm not picking it up now because my inventory is already pretty, uh, pretty full. But I need to remember Trapper Shack. I need to remember a lot of things, honestly, just, ah, oh, God. Okay. All right. Let's, oh no. Oh no. This is not a good place to go. Oh. Ow. Jeez. Okay. That's, that's fine. The ghouls are on my side. Yeah. Okay. This one. <laughs> We're not using this double barrel shotgun anymore. It's not good. Let's, ah, oh God, let's use the Gauss rifle. It's slow, but it'll kill him. Wow, what the heck? Electrical switch. Oh, oh, well, that didn't help anyone. Well, everyone's dead now, so. Hmm. Loot the bodies. 
I doubt they're going to have much, but, you know, a couple bottle caps, maybe some drugs. No, I got like 10 bottle. Oh, I got a jet. So I got like, oh, I have Nuka-Cola Quantum. Heck yeah. I don't really need that. The Quantum's nice. I feel good about the Quantum. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Uh, two 10 millimeter pistols, all right. Yeah, might as well just take it all. I think I have enough that I can uh, repair some of this stuff. Ooh, 129 caps. Can repair some of my stuff. I think it's, uh, the weaponry I have hasn't been super effective. Vengeance has, but vengeance is always effective, but it's breaking. And I actually need to do something about that. Boy, there's a lot of stuff down here. This place is great, man. This trapper, uh, red scorpion poison glands, Meyer lurk eggs. This guy really was, uh, I mean, he was a good hunter. I'll give him that. Look at all this meat. Goodness. It's not refrigerated though, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat it. But I mean, it's there. If you're desperate, I guess. Oh, I need a. I thought I had enough sensor module. I'm pretty sure there's one just lying around here. Let's see, was it in here? Yes, there was. All right, cool. We're gonna make some bottle cap mines. I think I have a uh, nuka grenade. Can make a couple nuka grenades. What else do I need? I need an abraxo cleaner. Son of a gun. Oh, well, there's a Braxo cleaner upstairs. Hold on. Oh, crap. I, I found his friend. He's going to be mad. Well, oh, snap. There's many of them. Okay. All right. Why are they doing so much damage to me? Oh, God. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and and call this now. I probably shouldn't have walked into this building. <laughs> oh, yep, they did. Oh, snap. <laughs> Ow. Guys, please. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, apparently I can still sleep for an hour. Cool. All right, God dang it! Freaking, huh. all right. God, these guys are hitting like every grenade or mine in the world. Go down, dude. Vengeance is is falling apart. Tell you what. I just made these for situations such as this. I really thought that that was going to be enough to kill them. It was close though. Can't lie. It was really close. Ow, dude. You're really hurting me. My God, man. You know, it's funny. I didn't even notice these grenades because uh, <laughs> I have light steps. So, dude, freaking get. Freaking jerk. God dang. All right, we're getting to the point where I, I can't deny I, I either need to get vengeance fixed or I no no I need to get vengeance fixed because it's a really god dang disarm that gun um it's a really god dang good weapon <laughs> and these guys seem to be very very uh destroyed by it and everything else seems to not be doing enough damage 
I don't know, man. Just, I'm not doing well. I'm just not doing well. Maybe more nuclear grenades. That'll make me feel better. Okay, let's let's get the heck out of here. Let's get let's actually get to the church. It's like the one thing I needed to do today. Getting distracted. Yeah, I also murdered. I'm using a lot of my stem packs. That's not good. Okay, we've got thing we've got things repaired. We we, we, we bought a little bit of thing. Hello? Hi, I see you. Hi, do you want to talk to me? You look like you want to talk to me. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Truly, the Mother Punga has bestowed her wisdom upon you. And your mind has been expanded. So, did it work? Is the ritual complete? For a time, we feared your mind had journeyed too far from your body, and you had departed our world. But you returned to us again at long last. Yea, though your body will bear the scars of the ritual, your soul shall be forever strengthened by the experience. You are now welcomed in our cathedral. Enter, enlightened brother. Punga power perk has been added. You now receive better effects from eating punga fruit. Okay, cool. Okay, so, uh, well, why don't you <laughs> tell me a little bit about yourself? What do you guys believe in? We espouse the expansion of the perfect mind and the rejection of the corrupt physical. The material world is destroyed and imperfect. We seek to release our minds from their tainted cages so as to find a better world. Interesting. So who's your leader? Leader? That would be Jackson, a man of great wisdom. He has withdrawn to his cavern of communion, the better to contemplate the unknowable. Only the righteous are trusted to know where this nexus of understanding lies. And alas, I am not so blessed. Okay, that's all right. Why did you guys attack the mansion? Our most enlightened one divined that the fates themselves did decree the mansion must be burnt to the ground. Fair enough, I almost did that myself. How do you get so much punga fruit to grow here? It I guess- a gift from the earth itself. In acknowledgement of our perfect balance with nature in the higher planes. She recognizes that we seek to leave behind the corrupt physical. And she nurtures us in our quest. That's fascinating. I think I would have known better that there was a lot of punga fruit in there if I was actually inside the gates. But I think I might have talked to this guy prematurely. So you're probably not going to tell me how I can find Jackson, are you? Alas, only the worthy may enter his nexus of meditation. He has not seemed fit to enlighten me. What a bummer. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look around. All right, don't don't mind me. You have a good day. Blessings to you on your journey. And to you, friend. And to you. Freaking weirdo. Hello. Be at peace. No, you don't have a name, which means you're not important. Okay, so we've got regular punga, punga fruit and then uh, wild punga. So, the lady who is asking us to bring some, I don't... Yeah, here we go. A spoonful of whiskey. Marguerite. Uh, she she wants us to bring either 10 of those or 20 wild punga fruit and then 3 bags of yeast and 6 fission batteries. Which I want to do. I, I do want to take that to her. It's just, I have to... I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff eventually in order to do that. <laughs> Transcend. Hi, you have a name, which means you want to talk to me. You are new, and you are welcome. I am Croatoa. I am not so new. Okay, well. Uh, you don't have, do you have anything interesting to say to me? Well, why don't you tell me what the tribe does? We dream. Dream of a better world. Not falling apart like ours. And when we find a dream that makes us forget this world, we dream that we do not have to wake up. That is fascinating. You talk very slowly, though, so I'm just going to ask you the important question and get out of here. Where can I find Jackson? Not here. Okay, great. I'm, thanks for making that short and concise. Have a good day. Blessings to you on your 
Yeah, okay. We're just, we're gonna, we're gonna cut you off. It takes a long time to talk. You're very slow speaker. I got so many things to explore. I'm sure going into this church is what I need to do, but I want to see what's going on out around here. There's so much punga fruit, dude. Hello, do you have a name? Nope, just tribal. Got a place to poop, though. That's rad. Let us burst through the church doors. Uh, uh well, thanks. What, what a, what a greeting. Dang, dude. There's a lot. There's uh, yeast in here. Man, I bet I can get everything I need for that lady in here. I would just need fission batteries, though. All right, hello. No, you're just a tribal. Hello, Woodrose. Another new member? What are we offering a special? Punga may have offered you wisdom, but it looks like it's still going to be a while before you really learn to accept it. Until then, you answer to me. I'm Woodrose, the tribe mother. Very nice to meet you. What do you do around here? I'm Den Mother. I keep us safe and make sure everyone remembers to eat and sleep. It's more work than you might think. A lot of our members have transcended conscious thought. Someone's got to take care of them. Interesting. So, Jackson leads this tribe, but I'm going to ask you anyways, just in case I get a different answer. Damn, you are wet behind the ears. Jackson leads us, and don't you forget, when he talks, you listen up and catch every word. Not that you'll be hearing much for now. He's off meditating. Okay, where can I find him? Not so fast, Grub. You haven't earned the right to go to the Transcended Master's Retreat. Okay, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Totally fine. I'm gonna go ahead and go now then, Miss Woodrose. Be well. And that was a very soft spoken goodbye. You you were uh you, uh Okay. I I don't want to I don't want to do whatever it is y'all are doing here. All this going on here. I don't want to do that. Just say no to drugs, kids. Just say no to drugs. We got rat away, punk. They're doing like studies on the punga fruit, man. Bad. Sack with the nuka cola in it, baby. Uh, all right. There was another lady here. You, hi, Nadine. Nadine. Looks like another newbie in the tribe, and still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one? I know you. Uh, nice to meet someone else who isn't crazy. Hey now, I might still be ten kinds of crazy. You don't even know me, and you can't tell just from looking. I could be friendly till she stabs you in the neck kind of crazy. Then where'd you be, smart Alec? All surprised and stabbed, that's where. <laughs> but I'm not a vegetable, so I'm sane enough. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. Wait, wait, hold on. What, 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 are, you, what are you talking about? Are you going to stab me in the neck? I have so many questions for you, actually. I, uh, let's start with the heads cut open bit, though. That was a little concerning. You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual. After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back, cut open your skull, and free your mind. As in, he rips out a bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back. But that doesn't always work out so good. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. That's fantastic. Can you get rid of my scar? Hold on, hold on. I have to go now real quick. Hold hey, on. Hey, before you go, if you ever want to get rid of that scar on your head, just come and see me, okay? Thank okay, you. I will. That's that's super nice of you. Also, I'm still... <laughs> I'm really glad that she said all that because I'm still wearing my trader outfit. Okay, hold on. Do I have it? My hair is gone. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, I look kind of cool, but I do miss my mohawk. So, I don't know. Past the flesh. Uh, shoot. I don't know if we should get rid of it or not. Oh, we should probably get rid of it. It sounds terrible. Also, I'm missing a piece of my brain. 
thanks for telling me. No one else around here thought it was like prudent to divulge that information to me. Thank you. We having fun yet? Nadine, I'm having a blast. Can you get rid of that scar? You're a lucky one. And it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now hold still and I'll see if I can help you look like your old self again. Thanks. Scar removed. <laughs> who, who cut my head open, Nadine? Who did that? Yeah, it's all a little fuzzy for me, but I've got a hunch. I'm going to go do some snooping, see what I can figure out. Meet me by the riverboat in a day or so, and maybe I'll have something for you. Not what I thought you were going to say, but Nadine, listen. I've been goofing around, but your mom asked me to find you. She's worried. Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw my eyes out sometimes. Relatable. It's just, I came out here to find a fortune. To make my mark. To be able to bring something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back. Eventually. Just not quite yet. What if I just gave you 2,000 caps? I could do that. I'm rich. But, uh... What? Here, Nadine, tell me about yourself. What is this, a date? You start making a move and it's stabbing time. I'm starting to think she's really going to stab me in the neck. W uh, no, no, really. Tell me about yourself. What? There's not much to say. I ran off from home to see the world and find a fortune. And I'm doing it now, okay? Well, you're doing great. Where can I find Jackson, Nadine? Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear that sort of stuff pisses me off so much i thought joining would be all drugs and magic but it's just the same crap as everywhere else guess that's why i trailed jackson to his stupid mystery cave you know it doesn't sound like you're having much fun here nadine they that's how they get you they start you with the drugs and then it's just the same old crap as anywhere else what a bummer. But you fell for it, so... I guess I, I kind of did too, but I intentionally... Whatever, it doesn't matter. You're not having fun here, are you, Nadine? i only been here a week or so, but I'm about ready to ditch this bunch of dummies. I already stole all the punga I could ever need. Hey, if you still want to know where Jackson's hiding, I can help you out. No reason for me to give a damn about this place, you know? His cave's under the cathedral, but it's hard to find. Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. Interesting. Um, that that's really cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna go, but I'll probably meet you out by the boat in a day or two just to just to see what you got for me. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. All right. Yeah, super cool. Honestly, also we shouldn't have had this conversation right in front of. <laughs> right in front of her. We might be in trouble, Nadine. Uh, dude, you, uh, what is okay? You know what? You should, you should go lay down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. So, so the quest is to go back to Desmond, so we can go to him and talk to him and and see what he's got going on. I don't remember anything. <laughs> oh my god. Stem pack. I'm I'm a sucker to find some stem packs. It's some flamer fuel. That's good news for me. I know I I'm gonna go to Desmond, right? It's really important that we do that. He's down over here at the mansion. I think before I do that, I want to go to the lighthouse, which is over there. I want to light it up, mainly so I can get the bulb out of my inventory. I don't know if it's a quest or not, but. If it is, then I'm going to preemptively do it. I'm going to... Because it's... Like I said, it's five pounds. I really need to get it out of my inventory. Can't be having that. It's it's too much. I say it's too much, but I'm using a... I have a missile launcher in my inventory that I am very rarely using. <laughs> oh. 
Maybe I can use my missile launcher. At least a little bit. Got it! What a shot. You, uh... Hmm. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe I should download, um... The Fallout unofficial patch mod. <laughs> maybe, maybe that would actually be a pretty good idea. I found a mine, though. That's pretty neat. Maybe I'll go in there one of these days. But yeah, it's because, honestly, Fallout's starting to get to the point where it's... Much like Vengeance, it's collapsing before my very eyes. And I'm starting to feel like I'm really on a time limit. On whether or not I'm going to be able to beat this game before it falls apart on me. Which is worrying because there's some quests later on that have a, uh, a high likelihood of bugging out. And well, I'm just afraid. Oh, okay. Yeah, let them all kill each other. I'm actually rooting for the Meyer Lurks. I should have looked at the map more carefully because I actually didn't know that the lighthouse was behind the mansion, this flickering mansion. Um, I would have fast traveled. That would have that would have just, you know, saved me some time. But I, I didn't. And I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm so sorry to everybody. I'm disappointed in myself. I can't believe I let such a thing happen. This is nice. Nice and relaxed. It is a nice place to have a cigar and drink a soda. Absolutely. Hang out with your baby. I'm so sorry. What is this? Huh. Well, there's a... I don't like the implications of that. There we go. Gotta look in the trash can for... Oh, there's nothing in there. Alright. Is... Okay, cool. I don't see anybody in here. Confederate hat. Vision battery. It's eerily quiet in here. That guy's just chilling. Toolbox. I wanted the sensor module. Now I have everything I need to make more bottle cap mines. Which is great. I should be able to get some use out of those. I think those those big guys, the big bruisers. I think that's what they're called. The dudes with the big old mutated arms. If uh, If they start chasing me, I can just pop some of those down. Mm. I think that'll do some good work. Heck yeah. A lot of people with cameras. Lots of moonshine. There's so much moonshine out around here, man. This would be a nice view if there wasn't so much god dang fog. Okay. Let's, uh, ooh. No, empty Nuka Colas. Monica. A hollow tape note. Okay. Well, let's, uh, there we go. Nice fresh light, light bulb. Turn that bad boy on. Look at that. Oh, maybe there's supposed to be another bulb. God, it's bright. There might be another bulb. Maybe we should uh, keep an eye out for that. What was that note that I just found? This one. Oh. Blue. Couldn't raise you on... Couldn't raise you on the phone this morning, so I'm having Jenny bring you this note. Your delivery for the store got turned around on those new roads and had an accident. He's run off the road by the cathedral. They'll need some time to sort things out, but Pagano probably won't be that. Probably won't wait that long to replace the lighthouse's beacon bulbs. You might want to get over to the wreck yourself and hand deliver the bulbs. Oh, okay. Well, maybe there is only that one. Uh, I guess I didn't get anything for that though, which is. Stupid. Hopefully that comes up later on. I don't know. If this was Fallout 4, I would have just jumped off the top of this lighthouse because I'm wearing power armor. But, uh... There we go. Alright, let's, let's actually go talk to this guy. 
Also, I probably could have fast traveled from the top. I'm just not thinking clearly. All right, Desmond. I need your advice. I can't, I couldn't possibly think of what to do next. Des Desmond, Desmond, Des buddy, Desmond. Hey, Desmond. Hey, let's talk. You infiltrated those tribals yet? Kind of. I'm in, and I know where their leader's hiding. Those idiots let me in with open arms. I have the location of their leader. Nice work. As if sneaking into a compound of morons is any kind of work. So, why am I to track down their leader and grill him for info? Don't waste your time reporting back. Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> back to business. I thought maybe you'd want to be in the loop. But no, you're just going to be a massive douche about this. <laughs> maybe we'll do a little bit of a discovery along the way. Just, just to figure out what's on the map. You know what I mean? This map's pretty big, but... Might as well see some sights along the way. Also, probably get into some fights. We're, we're definitely getting into some fights. I could have sworn I already discovered this boat, but now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I did and then immediately got killed and like as soon as I left. So good job me. Good job me. And if I remember correctly, there is not anything worthwhile on this boat. No, not really. Just a handful of crap. See, I see more of these big guys, man. And I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Totally missed. That might have done something. I can't... It, if it did do anything, he is not bothered. This guy is unfazed by anything in the world. I completely missed. Hmm. Ritual site, huh? Yeah. Sure looks like it. This place sucks. This- oh. Dude, this place sucks. Bet we're going there eventually. I don't want to, but I bet we are. I'm leaving. I'm actually, I'm, I'm getting creeped out. Oh, hi guy. Hi guy. Hi guy. Okay. Hold on. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. Come on. Go down. Thank you. Alright, it felt like I knew there was someone goddamn shooting at me, man. We're gonna chuck grenades at him, because I don't wanna get I don't wanna get close to him. I I probably could have thrown more than one. I probably should have thrown more than one. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're just gonna Ow! Son of a gun! I really thought he was farther away than that. Oh, God. Alright. Well, it's a good thing I got vengeance repaired then, hasn't it? There we go. Okay, I need to I need to pay more attention to to just everything. God dang, man. I'm wasting ammo doing things the way I'm doing it. There's obviously a, a better system that I can I could try to try to do here. Golly jeez. Hello? What is this? Probably something terrible. Everything that I've run into so far has been truly a uh, just awful experience. Haley's Hardware. Nuka-Cola machine, heck yeah. 
drugs. Sledgehammers, wrenches. Sensor module. Not a bad find. The sensor modules are good because um, I've been finding the, uh, this particular DLC really wants you to uh, do a lot of crafting because they just the stuff for it is everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Got pilot lights, BBs, BB gun, Abraxo cleaner, turpentine, vision batteries. But yeah, you just, there's just stuff sort of all over the place. Lawnmowers. Can make more shish kebabs if I needed to. Like, it really, really wants you to, to build stuff. Another holotape note. Uh, it, I suppose it was the same one. Hello. Okay. Yeah, th so this stuff is stealing. You don't care about the stuff outside, just the stuff in here, okay? Okay. I also All right. can do if and you need it. I dude, that you just said the magic words, bud. Alright, Haley, what are what are you doing well, way out there. here? Welcome to uh Welcome to Haley's Hardware. Where we have hard where? Is something is something wrong? Uh, no no, not at all. I'm just not used to people all the way out here. My usual customers, well, I usually smell them before I see them. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, why don't you tell me about your usual customers, because it's kind of weird that you're out here. The swamp folk, mostly. I guess they don't bother me none, because I was born here. They mostly trade meat and fruit, and never any cash or goods. The mercs are good for some trade and real hardware. So if you need ammo or anything like that... I can help you out. Okay. How long have you had this store, Haley? Oh, you're thinking... No, no. It's not a family thing. I took the name of the store when I found this place a couple of years ago. Truth is, I don't even remember much before that. I woke up here with a headache a couple of years ago with the shop already set up. People came in and started trading. I didn't complain. It just became a job. Interesting. And you get your stock from... I found some of it. Uh, some was here when I got here. I got some from the Mercs. And every once in a while, that weirdo with the boat comes up here and trades a few good things. Yeah, he's a pretty strange guy. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing. Are you here to buy something? Kind of. Can you repair some stuff for me? Sure as the swamp folks' head is squishy. Bro, you can actually, you can really, you can, we can, we can do some business. Yeah, we could do some business here. Why don't... You know what? Fix it all. Let's do it all. I don't care. What do you got for sale, Haley? Look around. It's all here. All right. That was, that was really nice. I want to know more about you, though, Haley. You kind of catch me off guard, there's my guy. There's not much to tell. What do you want to know? Freaking... Okay, yeah, there's nothing else. I, I kind of wanted to know more about the... You woke up with the headache thing, sure but... Thing. I guess I'll talk to you later, Haley. But be careful out there. Them swap folk is nasty. Yeah, I know. I feel... Well, I don't feel super bad about killing them, but now I feel a little worse knowing that they're your customers. All right. Well, I don't really want to steal from this guy. I don't want to make an enemy of this man. Not because I don't think I can take him. <laughs> It's definitely not that, but it's mainly because he can repair stuff pretty well. So let's uh let's let's stay friendly. Let's stay friendly. So can do repairs if you need it. I need I need a lunch box. Okay. Do you have any lunch I'll boxes? Buy something. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, he does. There's probably some outside too, but I'm not gonna put the work in. <laughs> I'm not gonna go out the door and then back in, okay? I'm not an animal. Alright. I've wasted enough time. Let's actually, let's at least get to the place we need to be. There's a well. Hmm. Oh, need a key. Okay. Well, we're not going there yet. Uh... Oh god, I forgot to put my ghoul mask back on. 
Oh, God. Guys. Go Ow, God dang. Can you guys help me? Hold on. Oh, man. I have a psycho withdrawal, too. I. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay. Hey, you want to... Oh. I'll let, I'll let you guys all take care of this. Hold on. I'll put my mask on. Apparel, ghoul mask. There we go. Maybe they'll leave me alone. Guys, guys, we got a problem here. I think... I, I'm not gonna lie. I think there are some reavers out there. This is gonna be an issue. I think I made everybody mad. I, uh, oh boy. I hope Nadine's okay. Go past the Jimson, tribal. You gonna go out there with a shovel, my guy? Are any of you marked as essential? Because if you're marked as essential, you need to go out there and take care of all of this for me. You need to be, you need to be the hero that I refuse to be. I, I I can't, man. All right. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they're all pretty chill with me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah. Uh. All right. Swamp ghoul. Swamp ghoul. Roamer. Yeah, I knew there were gonna be reavers. There's one. There's two reavers. Damn, dude. You guys weren't messing around, huh? I'm glad I brought the ghoul, ma ghoul mask with me. I don't really want to deal with uh, Reavers right now. These faces on these gravestones are also... Just awful. Why? You think that... Well, I mean, I guess... Okay. What am I trying to say here? The, the weird cultist guys that I'm talking to. The tribals. You'd think that they would probably want to kill the ghouls right like why would they want to be why would they want to live next door to some ghouls these guys want to eat your flesh I guess it doesn't matter all right let's let's be careful here's probably some stupid more stupid crap around like him Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna spit at me and then just walk away. I see you over there, my guy. I thought maybe you were going after the uh, the ghouls. That would have been kind of cool. No. I'd really like for you to stay away from me, actually. I I I feel like he's following me. I don't wanna I don't wanna turn around yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can just drag him over to the ghouls. You wanna come? You wanna come, buddy? Yeah, come on, buddy. Let's fight some ghouls. How do you feel about that? Hey, how you guys feel about helping me out here? Yeah? Yeah, y'all see. Dude, y'all are some y'all are some real bros. You know that? Some good friends. I'm sorry I considered shooting out with a mini nuke. Oh, did the other one get up? Did that what? Alright, just If if they focus on the regular swamp ghouls first rather than the Reavers, they've got a pretty good chance. Maybe. Oh yeah, that's one dude. He went down. Oh, he went down, man. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. You might not be able to take on two of them. I will loot your bodies, though. I will. I will loot the bodies. That's that's some good stuff. Not yours, but the ghouls. Well, I guess I'm looting the swamp lurk anyways, because I wasn't paying attention. But that's okay. Guys, y'all doing okay down here? Man, you guys are the best. 
Not when you're trying to kill me, but when you're trying to kill other things and I just get to reap the benefits from it. Alright. Hey, thanks, guys. I appreciate you. You know? The school mask is, is so good. It's one of the best items just in the game. Hello? Hey, the wrecked seat sub. Alright, this is where we need to be. Nice. We should probably be a little cautious in here. Yeah. Yeah, because there's Meyer lurks in there. There we go. Wow, that dude can swim. Y'all see that guy? Like an Olympic athlete. Oh, they know where I'm at now. That's okay. Ow. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm trying to... I really want to use up all the missiles I have. I have so many, I just haven't been using them. Okay, man, hey. Maybe, maybe like, stay back, okay? Yeah, why don't you just... It's an odd perspective, but okay. There we are. How about you, guy? How you feeling? Seems like you're feeling pretty strong. It really surprises me how little damage uh, missiles do. I really just feel like that we, we should be doing more damage here overall, you know? Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, I didn't want to drink the water. That's gross. Okay. Well, that takes care of those guys. Uh, where... Where, uh, where am I to be going? Was I not supposed to come down here? Maybe I wasn't. There could be something underwater, though. Oh my god, there is. Ha ha ha! Uh, nothing great. A few silenced 10 millimeters, though. That's, that's kind of nice. Maybe we'll hold on to those, just in case. They're not great guns, but they're silenced, so maybe we could do something with that. And it looks like that was the only mildly worthwhile thing underwater. Okay, let's... Let's keep moving. I'm gonna go ahead and just hazard a guess here that there are more Meyer lurks coming up probably maybe oh yep there he is man how do I how do I know these things you're going down my guy God, I love vengeance. Got anything worthwhile over here? You ain't got jack. Your house sucks. Okay, uh... I did grab some ammo for Eugene, and I do have a lot in the Burn Master. I don't know if... 
Oh, well, it's not. I was going to say, I don't know if the Burnmaster is going to do great against Meyer Lurks, but this isn't Pokemon, so it's not like, oh, his fire is weak against water types. That would be funny, though. Is that the guy? I think this is the guy we're looking for. Oh, man. Hmm. Interesting. Well. No, not astral knowledge, you simpleton. Psychic domination. And that still won't be possible until you destroy Desmond's jamming device. Fascinating. I have several questions, actually. But I think... I'm already feeling things coming together here. I also feel like he's going to have another dialogue line. I'm trying to end the episode and he's being really rude about it. Okay, great. He's coming down. So, on the next episode, we're going to figure out what the hell is going on. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!